The man who held one of the most powerful positions in Macomb County indicted by the feds, accusing him of using his office to line his pockets with hundreds of thousands of extorted dollars. The allegations are classic pay to play. And tonight, as we come to you at 6, the feds say Anthony Morocco never thought he'd be caught. Morocco was Macomb County's Public Works Commissioner from 1993 to 2016 when he lost that seat to Candace Miller. The feds say during much of that time, he would steer contracts only to those who would buy tickets to his twice yearly fundraisers. The indictment says he did so with the help of his employee, Dino Bucci, who also has a plea hearing that's set for tomorrow. Victor Williams live with a reaction and more on where that money allegedly went, Victor. Yeah, that's right, guys. After a multi-year investigation, there are several charges that have been racked up against Morocco that have to do with conspiracy. We're talking about extortion, attempted extor extortion, and so much more. At one point, it seemed like former Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Anthony Morocco could do no wrong, holding his position for decades from the 90s all the way to 2016. But now the tables have turned. The feds have now officially indicted the former commissioner, saying he conspired with county employee Dino Bucci. The indictment reads, Bucci, at the direction of Anthony Morocco, would communicate to the victims that if they did not purchase tickets to Morocco's fundraiser, including the holiday party and the golf outings, the victims would suffer adversity adverse economic consequences caused by Morocco. Those victims listed as real estate developers, employees of engineering funds, and municipal contractors. They were felt threatened. Uh, they were being pressured. Uh, he was even competing with some of them with uh, business, uh, I guess, if you will, of ventures. Current Macomb County Executive and former Sheriff Mark Hackle says the indictment doesn't surprise him at all. Being the sheriff, I recognize there were concerns by some of the contractors, developers, about the pressures being put on by our former Public Works Commissioner, Anthony Morocco. And uh, being the county executive, when I took that over, boy, I was inundated with concerns and complaints about what was going on in his office. The accusations also state that Morocco used some of the monies raised from the victims to pay for personal expenses, such as air travel to Florida and Massachusetts, automobile rentals, expensive meals at restaurants in Palm Beach and Del Rey Beach, Florida, hotel stays, condo associations, Association charges, spa visits, wedding and holiday gifts, and even yacht club charges. The indictment then goes on to say that during the course of the conspiracy, Anthony Morocco stated to Dino Bucci on multiple occasions, they'll convict me of murder before they convict me of corruption. A public official should never use their office for personal gain, and that's exactly what he did, and now he's being held accountable for those actions. Now, if Morocco is convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison, as well as a $250,000 fine. Reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.